Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this one, let's talk about how you can uh, transform 3D objects, uh, or manipulate them, some basic functions like bending and flattening and whatnot. So let's uh, see how you can do that. So first, let's take a uh, speed. So for transforming, there are a couple of uh, things that you will need to keep in mind that these these guys are here move scale and rotate so w e r is the shortcut w for move e for scale and r for rotate so as soon as you click on w let's make it polymesh 3d and click on w you will get this gizmo kind of effect uh, or gizmo actually no okay so gizmo is here yeah yeah w okay so this gizmo will let you move the object in any direction it will let you rotate it as well as scale it uniformly or non-uniform who got it so, so also in if you want to move it in any of the axes or uh, based on the camera you can click on this button then you can move the object this is moving not panning i am moving the object let's let's append something to uh, just in case to demonstrate that i am moving the object in based on camera uh, movement or based on my view so that's how i move so as soon as you press W, you will see a couple of these buttons are there. Suppose uh, you want to, your uh, this guy is there. How did I do that? I'll, I'll tell you. But you want to move it in the center of your object or the center of whatever is unmasked. You can hold Alt and click on this guy. This is go to unmasked uh, position. This one. And suppose you have Alt uh, basically means that you have unlocked the gizmo. Now you can move gizmo. If you release Alt, it will lock it and now you will move the object. Got it? So Alt is the key. Alt will unlock the gizmo. Uh, you can move, rotate the gizmo and then you can move according to your set gizmo. And if you remove Alt or if you unlock it or if you lock it, you can then move the object so suppose you want to set the uh, gizmo as default you can press alt or unlock it and click on this button this is the reset orientation of your gizmo then you can lock it also if uh, i told you that okay so home home will basically uh, send the object on the center of the grid or if you press alt and then click home it will send the gizmo at the center of the grid then you can rotate it according to the grid it's helpful in many cases if you want to rotate something according to the grid or according to the center of your asset so yeah again if you want to move the uh, gizmo to the center of the object hold alt to unlock it and then click on this map ka that pin icon that will move it and this will just uh, this is sticky mode it uh, it sticks the gizmo at the point of origin where it was originated from or where we take this pin where we clicked on the pin it sticks to that if if the lock is there and then you click on home again it will it's gonna move to the center of that so now what if we want to move all of them there's this click which uh, if there are multiple ticks and multiple uh, rows that means that all the circles are selected and now if you do move or rotate it's going to move with uh, all the subtools in mind in our case we have two subtools so it's moving and rotating in that way so turn it off and on by just clicking on it if there is a single one it will move just a single one and if there are multiple it will move everything in the list of subtools so that's that's something let's turn the dog go off and let's see what else we can do with the transformation let's um, 
okay so let's scale that scale it down something like this suppose you have some subdivisions we do have some subdivisions that's fine suppose we want to bend this according to the modifier that we used to use in uh, max and maya so you go to the settings customize and i want you to try all of them whatever you want I i'll just show you what i mostly use and what is sometimes useful also one more thing join discord if you have any doubts and queries also uh, put a comment of any specific topic you want me to create video on so let's move forward but now uh, let's let's try what is bend r if you click on it you will see that you get uh, some of the things like these tricolor tricolor uh, some things are there so all these uh, manipulates the properties of this object that you want to edit so this guy uh, uh, so basically orange is the action green is the angle where you want to uh, bend and uh, let's turn off the frame by pressing shift f or you can come here and this if you want these lines to show up you can click on line to turn it on and off and if you want the fill to happen you can there is this little fill uh, so yeah keep that those little words in mind you can click on it to change the property so twist will basically twist in some axis this is again twisting so yeah orange is twist uh, white is the value from where you want to uh, and green is your uh, action or angle so as long the long uh, white will be the the green will affect from that area so the green is low white is still here and if we move the green then we can manipulate white and see how it affects so if you want if you like something like this and if you want to uh, also this is twist as i said so that's how you twist again twist happens in all directions so we have orange orange keys which you can pull orange strings whatever you can call them so yeah that's how you do it if you want to confirm this action because if you change it uh, to something else and go back it's not gonna stay that way so you can go here and select accept to confirm this action or you can again reset and full reset or even delete so that's how it is there are multiple things that you can try bend arc is there deformer is there inflate is there so it uh, as you can see everything have a specific direction so it inflates from certain if you want certain direction if you want to inflate it from bottom or top or side you have those things this if you hover over any of this you will see that uh, it it says the properties in this case we have if we if i just pull it uh, to one we have the symmetry on in x so yeah that is what it is so that's how it is inflating in x uh, i mean symmetrically also whatever we have what else do we have uh, we can just reset it we can again delete this modifier it's kind of modifier and you can slice it you can smooth it you can taper it you can twist it let's try twist how is it just is basically twist <laughs> in y direction in uh, z direction in x direction it's pretty handy tool i would like you to give it a try because it will be very very helpful so that's how you can twist so yeah i guess that's pretty much it for uh, transforming the object in a zbrush so wer remember wer very useful and practice all these buttons then go through some of them you might find them useful crease taper twist everything is nice bend very useful so yeah uh, go through them and let me know if you have any 
doubts i will try to clear them up on discord or in comment section so that's it i guess i covered the transformation basics and as as we go along i will go in depth and cover the sculpting and everything and let's in the next class let's see how you can subdivide using the basic subdivision as well as dynamic subdivision so i will see you there take care and I like this video so that it reaches to more people i'll see you later